don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on YouTube? This is the BK Cobb 360 here. It's the 12th of August 2016. We're rolling in closer to AMD's upcoming CPU architecture Zen. Zen has had a lot of hype. This is supposed to be AMD's big answer to Intel. The big answer to their chips because as you guys know, Intel has just been chugging along, chugging along because AMD has had no response to the high performance CPU market because as you guys know, the entire bulldozer line of uh, CPUs just did not work out that well for AMD. We all know that CMT and clustered multi-threading did not work out very well for them, had poor single core performance and whatnot. I mean, the 8350 was of course still a decent CPU. I mean, I myself have an 8320, so that, of, that automatically introduces some bias for me towards like the AMD chips. Like I have a soft spot for them, but at the end of the day, Intel has just been dominating AMD in single core performance specifically, and Zen is AMD's new hope. Now, of course, uh, this news today is coming from WCCFTech.com. Take it with a grain of salt. These guys are like the hype machine. These guys will just launch anything. They hear the slightest of rumors, bam, they'll pounce on it. And of course, it's quite ironic because I'm doing the exact same thing. But like, I don't know. I'm just here to give you guys some detail. Like this kind of looks pretty legit to me, which is why I'm doing it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it, if that makes sense. So anyway, essentially, I'm just going to like flatten things out for you guys. Uh, make it as simple as possible. Uh, too long didn't read TLDR. Um, there's been a Zen engineering sample uh, CPU tested um, and benchmarked in Ashes of the Singularity. Um, I know straight away, straight away, sorry, people are going to say, well, Ashes of the Singularity is an AMD benchmark, blah, 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 blah. Look, let's just, let's just keep moving, okay? Let's keep moving. Let's get into it. Let's get straight to the point. And essentially, um, this Zen engineering sample chip was compared with a few other chips on this uh, article. And um, there were two variants. Now, one variant of this Zen chip uh, performed better than the other one. Uh, I don't know if that means one was the 8-core, one was the 4-core, one was the 8-core, one was the 6-core. It's not actually specified which uh, Zen chip this actually is. Apparently, it's allegedly the 8-slash-16-thread um, chip, but I wouldn't really put my money on that. I mean, once again, coming from WCCFTech.com. But continuing on, in Ashes of the Singularity, it was pretty much a standard benchmark. I believe the settings would have been turned down as low as possible uh, to give you, like the least GPU bound like scenario. Um, the RX 480 was actually the GPU. And um, essentially what WCCF Tech did here was they got comparative results from an i7-4790 with a 480, uh, an i5-4670K and an FX8350. And essentially what we found out was that this Zen engineering sample chip are running at 2.8 gigahertz. Yes, 2.8 gigahertz, that's not very quick. I was able to outperform an i5 4670K. Of course, the 4670K is Intel's Haswell architecture. Um, four cores, four threads, overclocked, unlocked, good CPU. Uh, but yeah, it's good to see that apparently, like in this average CPU frame rate, um, AMD has allegedly been able to beat Intel, or at least Intel's like general, Intel CPUs from two years ago. Now, of course, um, it's not actually at the i7-4790 stage yet. The 4790 is still ahead, but keep in mind, look, the 4790 is clocked at 3.6 gigahertz, and the 4670K is clocked at 3.4. Uh, this Zen chip was clocked at 2.8, and once again, it's an engineering sample, and we're still quite a few months away from, like, the initial launch. So, like, I wouldn't take this, like, as, like, the do or die. I'm not going to go ahead and say, yes, AMD has definitely beat Haswell, or AMD is going to be able to compete with Skylake or Cannon Lake, whatever the hell Intel has out by the time AMD actually does the entire launch of Zen. And if I did not say it already, I believe Lisa Sue said that Zen is coming around at the end of this year, sorry, in limited quantities and in bigger volume at the start of next year. But, yeah, like, take that how it is. But essentially, like, it's looking to shape up pretty well. I mean, 2.8 gigahertz, if this isn't the final chip, which it obviously isn't, it's an engineering sample. Um, if this chip is clocked up, um, we have some slight improvements, then, like, it's going to be good. It will be competitive. If it's priced right, then we should be fine. And if this is the 8-core, like, I don't know. It's hard to say. This could be 8-core. This could be the 6-core. I believe AMD is actually launching the higher-core variants first the eight and the six core and then the four cores are coming a little bit later 
But regardless of that, you know, Zen and Summit Ridge is looking pretty damn good. Like, I'm looking forward to what AMD has to offer us. Intel's finally getting some competition in the high-end CPU market. As, as I said before, they've just been, like, chugging along, like, doing what they want, um, updating when they want to update. Like, Intel hasn't had competition. They haven't had the urge to really do anything. Like, that's not to say that Intel isn't trying, because obviously they are. I mean, Intel is obviously like an innovator they're always looking to create new products um they're of course trying to focus on power savings a lot more um over performance like as we move on from 2016 but like regardless like <laughs> you know what i mean man intel has just been doing like 10 percent increases in ibc you know how it is guys but anyway thank you for watching i really do hope you enjoyed hopefully this uh zen chip performs like even better than what we see here and once again look this is ashes of the singularity this is not even a cpu benchmark so like take this with a grain of salt i would have liked to have seen something like cinebench look cinebench is the only cpu benchmark i really know but like i would have liked to have seen more cpu benchmarks maybe some like benchmarks that look at rendering rendering time um stuff like that so <sighs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and look the big K will see you later